Mm. You guys see the trailer for Jupiter Ascent Ascends, Jupiter Rises? I don't even Jupiter, know what that is, to be honest new, with you. The new Wach Wachowski, Wachowski brother, or Wachowski uh, siblings, Wachowskis? What are, the, what are we? Uh, I, I did not. Let's just good? say Wachowskis. I think Wachowskis is right. Um, their new thing. Is it good, the trailer? Uh, I don't know. Mila Kunis is in it. Hmm. She okay. seems to be like Space Neo. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be right back. I need to get some more water really quick. Okay. Good call. Uh, that, I mean, that that could work. I don't know. I really hope he having, comes back to Ren Defoe. Having them go back to, like, full-on action movie could be good. <laughs> Theoretically. And also, whoa, whoa. He's getting the <laughs> loudest water. Andrew's getting water from a well he's currently <laughs> digging in his room. <laughs> it's, it's not the most, uh... It's not the fastest way to get water, but... Um, the other trailer <laughs> I saw today was uh, Interstellar. Somebody, I, I saw somebody freaking out about that on Twitter and saying it looked really good. I guess? I don't... There wasn't much to the shots of the movie. Like, Wait, what are we talking about? Interstellar? Interstellar. New Nolan flick uh, trailer. That went up to this. Is that the one with... Who's in that? Matthew McConaughey was in the trailer. But it's oh, really, it's a really strong that's... Cast. That's why people were freaking out about Matthew McConaughey on Twitter this morning. Uh -huh. Okay, it all makes sense. Dogs? Not dogs. This no. is why we never got you a puppy when you wanted one, Jody. Oh, boy. Am I gonna kill these dogs? Oh, man. Oh. I do have. I, I, I'm getting really. I don't like the trend in video games of using dogs as, as enemy creatures. I don't. Yeah. I know it's a weird, like, dumb, like, ass-backwards psychological construct I have in my head, but I feel way worse about shooting a dog than I do shooting a person. Well, that's true in real life as well, though. <laughs> yeah, fuck people. Man, ugh. Oh, I just remember, oh, I had this friend in, in college who was, like, head over heels in love with this girl, and, like, one of those things where he, like, talked about her for months and months and months, and I finally hooked up. And I met her for the first time, and the first thing she said to me was, I think I'd have an easier time murdering a baby than an animal. And I would, no, nope, go away. I'm done with you. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. And that was it. That was how she introduced me. They introduced you... herself to me. Why did she introduce like, herself to you like that? Because she was the worst. She wore a cat tail. It was the worst. Oh, she wore a what? A cat tail? What? Like a tail, like a cat tail. Like a fucking oh. cat tail. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. like people do that. Yeah, which I, that's not the part that I'm upset with. I'm upset. For some reason, well, for some I'm reason kind of upset said, with it. When yeah. you said cattail, I thought of like like the plant. I was like, wait, wait, <laughs> <She's> <laughs> how? Horrible. Like, did she like tuck it in her ear? Uh, the stream is is getting super chops right now, Phil. Yeah. Um, yes, it is. Are you dropping them frames? Let me check. It's actually better on the Skype share right now than on. This is. Oh, I am this, dropping frames and I don't this know is, why. This is DJ Willem with the chopped and screwed. Jordan Mallory in the chat says, "Hey, some games with dogs are okay. Games with space dogs, for instance. I'm just saying, Homie's trying to promote his product." <laughs> yeah, hold on a second, guys. I'm not sure what what's happening with the. Uh... <sighs> You're not talking about Jamie Alley. <clears throat> I, I bet she said that too. John Nugent says we're chopping hard. Hard chops. Oh, it looks like it's calmed down now so we can try again. Are you guys okay if I leave it in this box? Does that work? Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'll live. <laughs> leave it in this box. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean. Oh, so she's, she's the girl in the box. Right. Yeah, she'd never be able to make it up there. <laughs> she'd never be able to make it up there, they say, after she just, like, <sighs> took out the whole police <laughs> yeah. department in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Travis. On top of a train in the ring. Shit! In the ring. Travis! I love that the cop's name is Travis. That seems like a good cop. It's a good cop name. God damn it, Travis. <laughs> damn it, Travis, I'm taking your badge! Just one girl, Travis. Get it done. Oh, I lost it again. God. It looks like the stream is, is okay again. 
It's a William Defoe voice. It's a blessing and a curse. Why am I running towards the cop cars? This seems like a... So you can steal one. Yeah, just play a lot of GTA, you know? Huh? Go for it, Aiden. <laughs> now I'm doing ghost shit. You gonna throw that cop car? You can do it, put your back into it. Oh man, those cops complaining about the rain. I'd be so good if one was like, man, I hate this heavy rain. I hate this, this heavy rain. It's The temperature is so low Fahrenheit right now. <laughs> Just... I have unlocked a new bonus. Great. What did I... How do I... Indigo Prophecy. Indigo. Prophecy. A motorbike. Just what I need. Oh, there's a motorbike. I'm gonna take uh, over this cop. It's been yeah. a while since I've taken over someone. Uh, Miss Cooksey in the chat, people are talking about Alan Wake because of the, uh, the, the environs. Uh, he says, I have a bet with a friend that Alan Wake 2 is actually going to be about Alice Wake. Any thoughts? I think that would be rad. Uh, I, th I think it's probably going to be a while before Alan Wake 2 happens, if it ever does. Well, don't make oh. me cry. Why are you making well, me sad? Why are you making me sad, Phil? Just the facts. What's the name of your next game? Quantum Break? Quantum Break. Not Quantic Dream? Quantic Dream Theory Break. So wait, Dream Theory is involved at all? Yeah. Is that okay? Where are you going, Mike? Mike. Hey. Another good cop name. Mike and Travis. We're just trying to do our jobs. Still that bite, <laughs> Ellen Page. I will say, this is a better Ellen Page simulator than any other game I played this year. Oh, nice. My, oh god. Definitely actually, oh god. Oh boy, this looks... Oh boy. How well does this handle, Phil? Holy really shit. Good. Probably really well, huh? Holy shit. You old. This is some Need for Speed stuff going on here. It feels real oh, good. Oh man, I should, I should, I should they must have game. borrowed. They must have borrowed the driving engine from Gran Turismo for this. <laughs> you can really tell. Uh, honestly, this reminds me of when you had to drive the motorcycle in Final Fantasy VII. Just it looks oh, yeah. prettier, but it looks. You like know what? It controls kind of like that. <laughs> I wish I had a big ass sword to swing at cops. <laughs> Holy shit! What am I? What are you hitting X for? I don't know. I couldn't tell. <laughs> I just saw it popping up and I was like, yeah, maybe she's just adjusting her, her mirrors there. <laughs> uh, Imogen Gant points out, is the mirror that motorcycle fucking huge? Yeah, that looks like a big ass motorcycle. I think it might be a transformer. That would because, I mean, me. Ellen Page is also like a small tiny. lady. Yeah, like she's a, she's a tiny person. She's like five foot nothing, right? Yo, those cops look like cyber soldiers from a distance. Oh, I'm hey, insane. hey, it's the SWAT. What's SWAT guy's name? We want to guess. No choice. We're going uh, Jacobs? Yeah, that's a good one. I like Jacobs as a cop, as a SWAT guy name. He, do, he doesn't have a first name, he's just like... Yeah, he's just Jacobs. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Use your, use your ghost shield. Ghost shield! Oh, shit. Video games are dumb. You should, mm -hmm. uh, you probably should have done that, you know, every time earlier that you ever had combat, <laughs> ever. Go shields. We missed her. Oh, I repeat, we missed her. She's headed for oh, Baker. man, she's headed for Baker Town. Oh, not Baker Town. God damn it! <laughs> Tolo, Tolo notes, <laughs> by the way, I want to remind you that they want her alive. They want her alive. Yeah, well, she got ghost powers. 
think I can take a few bullets. Maybe they're rubber bullets. <laughs> John Nugent says, Yo, I played this game, and if you told me his name was Jacobs, I'd believe you. <laughs> <laughs> John, did you like this game? What are your thoughts on this? What's your? Where do you stand on, on Beyond Two Souls? Uh, Andrew's a pretty big fan so far. Yeah, I fucking love oh, this game. There it is. He just said he said his name. His name is uh, Roadblock Tango. That's it. He said this is Roadblock Tango. Okay. So that must be his name. Oh yeah. I had a delicious Roadblock Tango the other night. You oh, know yeah. what? That that sounds like fucking like Willem Dafoe's creepy online username that he uses to like troll hookup sites. It's a. <laughs> oh, God. It's also it's a um, it's a popular Dota 2 strategy. Roadblock Tango? <laughs> the Roadblock Tango, yeah. They they did that at the last MLG event. I was pretty pretty blown Take away. <laughs> it's when you stop your own creeps from advancing so that the enemy can't get XP, right? Roadblock your tangos? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mr. Flying Fly Ninja says, Roadblock Jacob's Tango, but <laughs> Jacob's is in quotes like that's his nickname. <laughs> I like that a lot. True. Alright, fuck you, Swap. <laughs> okay, great. CTI says Roadblock Tango might have been a character in Pacific Rim. Yeah. Roadblock Tango is definitely a Jaeger name. Possess that guy. Oh man, Merc that dude. Yes. Oh. Mm M Gant says, "Ghost that helicopter." Good call. Oh, Jesus. He just throw it. Oh, wow. Yep. This is turning into like a syndicate. Holy shit. Yeah, it totally is like syndicate. Jesus. Man, we should play more syndicate. Uh, Mr. Thomas says, says. Oh, go ahead. Uh, Thomas has to possess the sniper. He should probably possess the sniper. Uh, Mr. Scott says, Yo, was that noob Cybot? <laughs> Why can't I just choke all these dudes to death? There's like specific guys I can choke. Yeah, this is the thing that's frustrating. When I say like the, the consistency thing is, is really frustrating. It, like, so it's just, a, I think the thing that's that's frustrating, um, I mean, you're right. And, and like, I think it's that when you look at it from a gameplay level, like, this is cool. I, like, yeah. as, as goofy and sci-fi and paranormal mm -hmm. bullshit as this is, there is a cool gameplay concept in the idea of like, you hit, you, you hang out like, in like you play a character who just hangs out somewhere and then sends out the ghost to like get shit done and then goes out when everyone's already dead yeah. like you know if i if i just had free reign and could do whatever i wanted to get rid of yeah. everyone that could be really cool but for some I reason it's all very like specific and and in a way that isn't explained in any that's not explained in terms of gameplay mechanics or in terms of like in setting logic you know like okay, I set that and car on fire that's good Get that sniper, man. There's a sniper on one of those roofs I saw. Where is it? I think on the on the side of the build on the side of the street that you're on, I thought I saw a sniper. Mm. On one of the roofs. Thomas pointed it out earlier. Yeah, Blazing Evans is the sniper on the roof. Which I mean duh, but where which I I'll point it out if I see it again. There's a there's a roof on here. Oh weird. That's weird. Hey! I can't oh, take it's, not him a, over, though. it's not a possessable one. I thought I saw one that was orange earlier, but I guess not. Or who knows? Maybe he was orange. Oh before. man! Now he I, I don't usually get motion sick, but like the FPS with the like with the weird Iden ghost camera view is. Oh, here's yeah. another Ooh. one. Ooh. Oh, there's a bunch of snipers. <clears throat> oh, okay. Um, none of them are possessable. Hmm. Weird. They need backup. Do they? 
There's so many of these dudes, I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Yeah. It's not letting me do much anymore. Hmm. I can kill these guys. Yeah. Paul was just to look in that window. I don't know which one he meant. I did but... look. try looking in a window already, but there was nothing. Oh, jeez, oh. they got you. Holy yeah, shit. They, they sure did. Last time I watched this, that did not happen. <laughs> Wait, last time you watched this? This, this scene was in the quick look. Uh, oh. Um, those last two scenes. And, uh... I did not did they escape? Things. Yep. How did they do it? They just kept people off for long enough, and she goes inside the the. Uh, she gets inside yeah, the I theater. Tried. And she's, I sure tried. I believe you. So. Oh, you had to open the doors. Apparently, there's a door uh -huh. you had to open. Up. Yep, Jordan. This is Geist for the GameCube. Well, maybe this. Uh, maybe this changes the ending. It's all gonna be different now. The GameCube Nintendo, sure right? That's correct. Escape from them, probably. A reminder: Ghost Trick is on super sale for iOS right now. But yep. Should all get that. Shoot that driver. Uh, that didn't work. Find something else. That almost worked. Wait, why is that guy purple? Yeah, just take over the driver. That seems weird. Yeah. Oh, apparently you're also you could also take down the chopper somehow. What? So yeah, it's cool that there are different things you can yeah. do, but I I almost wish that it was just like fully like 100% like just whatever I want. But I guess it's, yeah, see, see, I guess see, it's see not the game they were making. I don't know. Seer says this changes nothing. Everything is the same, and I'm. I'm like, I'm of a really divided mind about that statement, um, because it, I get what you're saying. What he's saying is like this: she's still gonna escape, and blah blah blah. Um, like this isn't changing. The ending didn't change because of that scene, um, which I, I don't know. Who knows? But the second thing is, oh yeah, it doesn't. I've seen this scene from the other perspective before, where she tells them this, but. Um, that it happened is change enough for me in some games. I don't know if this game counts like that, but like when I think about Kentucky Route Zero, sure, that game is filled with change with choices that don't quote mean anything. That's also on my list something. of Geo uh, Game yeah, of the Year yeah. catch up. Right now, that's Jody's. in my top. That's in my top three for sure this year. Like, there's oh no. Oh so We're jumping even further back now. <laughs> We're jumping further um, back than we've been previously. But like that game is filled with choices that don't change anything, quote unquote, in terms <sighs> of long term plot stuff. Um, but I still think that those those choices are important because they John allow Nugent you to says your experience structure changes. Something. Right, exactly. John, did, like did John say what he thought of this game? I, I didn't catch it earlier. Yeah, I think he said, yeah, he said that, you know, it had moments where he was like, you know what, good job, David Cage. But a lot of the time it was just like, oh, this is the worst. So I think he was mixed that, You know what, that's, hey, that's pretty that's, much our experience so far, I feel like. Yeah. And our um, experience with David Cage games, too, yeah. you know. He does some things Thomas, right. <laughs> Thomas, you're wrong. It changes the fact that we saw that scene. That scene isn't a scene we see if you don't if you don't fuck there, up. There. Like, so that's, that's a, a that's a that's a thing that like I feel like some people focus in in storytelling in general and, and yeah, storytelling in games and specifically. Uh, a lot of people focus in on the ending is like if the ending doesn't change, then, then nothing, nothing has changed. changed. But that's not that's not true. So there's a, there's a choice in Bioshock Infinite, and none of those choices change anything game wise, like really at all. Um, but there's a choice where you can either react to a, a fight that you think is about to happen or not and what happens is you get stabbed in the hand if you don't react and booker wraps it with uh like a piece of cloth sure. and he wears that cloth for the rest of the game and for me like that's really interesting right like nothing's uh, changed the game carries out the same but amy, there's this aesthetic thing that happens amy i guess to ask if we're still in the pro prologue and i, I, I think we are that's, that's <laughs> either in it or before or, it. or before it i don't or the pre prelogue pre prologue yep let me open um, my presents right now. Yeah. John Nugent points out that Sean Vanneman talked about this on Steve Gaynor's new podcast, Tone Control. That's a great episode. Sure, people should yeah. definitely listen to it. Because Walking Dead does a lot of the same things. Where there's lots of these like choices that you make that allow you yeah, to, like to Walking kind of Dead, collaborate like, hey, and uh, illustrate. Uh, at, at the end of Walking Dead, at the end of Walking Dead Season 1, like that ending does not change very much based on yeah. what you did. Like right. there are there are right. there exactly. are a couple specific things that can happen, but the ending as it is happens largely plays out the same way. Yeah. 
Yes. But there's a lot of little things along the way that will change. Right. And Thomas says she gives the exact same speech, right? I had just said that earlier. She does give the exact same speech. But the fact that that thing happened in the car is a difference than if you had gotten away. Like, that's Denton asked that if, uh, Denton asked if Polygon did a review of Kentucky Route Zero. We actually haven't yet. Um, I yeah. think what's probably going to happen is, because it's five episodes total? Yeah, it's supposed to be um, five. I think, I think when the last episode comes out, we'll probably do, like, a full, like, a review yeah, of the whole sure. thing rather than episode by episode. Um, I really am desperate. For I think just because episode. because they're sh- a lot shorter and and I, f- I feel like harder to write. Like I think it would be harder to write a review of each individual episode of Kentucky Route mm-hmm. Zero than it would of than than it would of each individual episode of like The Walking Dead. Does that make sense? Yeah. Do you yeah. agree with that? I don't know. Yeah, I think so. I, I just, that's I, just based off the little I know about it. If you if you were forced to ter- Phil, if you were forced to write a review for each Kentucky Route Zero episode, I think you could do a good job of it. But I also see the logic and yeah. I don't know, but either way, we're, we're definitely, we have a lot of people on staff who really yeah. like Kentucky Route Zero. That game's so good! I'm, I'm excited to uh, to finally check it out. Now Andrew, did you play... For Game of the Year stuff. Did you play the last little mini episode that came out? No, I haven't. Wait, what? There's, you know, they do these little mini things in between episodes. Um, oh, I, did I didn't do that. Called... Uh, Fuck, was it interludes called? or whatever? Yeah, interludes, yeah. They're all is free, that just on think, their, right? Is that on their website? Yeah, and it's um, yeah, it's called the entertainment, is what okay. it's called, and it's. Oh, weird. I have. Um, you have played it. Uh, I have not. I have not. Oh, played it you should definitely play it. <clears throat> so, other points out that there is a bonus on this level. Um, do we know what the bonuses do yet? Because I don't have a clue. I just know I got one. One of the reasons that I love Kentucky Route Zero, and it has nothing to do with the game itself, is just that I never thought that there would be a game mm-hmm. placed where I live right. and have lived for a while. And sure. like there, there are little like nods and references in that game that you would not understand if do you the, did not live where I live. Do the people who make it like live there? I don't know. Or, I mean, but they must have at some point. I feel they, like they hmm. they've at least they're... done their homework. Sure. Right, yeah. right. Because, like, I remember even just, and I don't, I don't oh, feel like God. this is a, a big spoiler. There's a, was, there's a that part. Was a, that was a cool Whoa. thing. That was cool. I missed that. Which, I missed it. Creepy did, ghost. Yeah. Oh shit. The item ghost. Um, but See, I remember I when she was making, she was making a goofy face ghost. in the mirror, which I like. Like that was just a cool little character thing. And then there was a creepy item ghost. Hmm. Oh wait, can I just? Ugh. The just like walking around controls are not, not superb. Jody, honey, would you do me a favor? Could you get me a bottle Remember the part in Heavy Rain where you had to like decide whether to like hang out with your kid and help him with homework or like? Yeah, that's yeah, that, yeah. That that's, shit's cool. That's what I'm saying. That's my favorite stuff in the David Cage in David Cage games. Stuff like that. Stuff when you're packing your apartment in Fahrenheit. Um, these really like slice of life moments. That you what don't ever see. Do? I wasn't paying attention. This is just like real life. <laughs> <laughs> she asked me to do something. I wasn't paying attention. I'll, I'll check on the stream and see if it loops back. Oh, here I'm seeing it on the stream now. Good, good call. Bottle of oil from the garage. <sighs> that's that's like a strange thing to ask a kid for. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Blazing Raven. Last of Us started in Boston. Uh, what else? Was there any other Boston set games this year? Fallout 4? Yeah, Fallout 4 is in Boston, right? That came out this year. That's the rumor. That's that's what the it says. I'm excited. That, 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 that is the rumor. <coughs> oh man, I need to play Year Walk. Yeah, I have to play Year Walk. That's on my also, list also. <laughs> also, um, uh, Device 6. Yeah. Device 6 is the next thing I'm playing, I've decided. Ooh. Like, is that iOS? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, Phil, is there is there a difference between your walk on iPad or iPhone? Uh, I mean, I haven't played it yet, but I I have it on iPad. I don't know. Okay. Is this a garage? This is like um, the creepiest garage. Yes, yeah, AC three last. Wait, year is that is that okay? For a second, I thought that dumbbell was just like a fucking like samurai sword just chilling <laughs> <laughs> shell. Ah. Some good creepy stuff going on here. Why is what's that face? It's like There's a mannequin or something. I don't garage know. Garage face. A mannequin out here. It's a garage face. 
yeah, I'm really hyped for device six then. Garage face is like the the least scary creepy pasta. <laughs> Just wasn't really ah. didn't do it for me. That mannequin is is why would you no? And that like why specifically why place it so that it's staring at you right. when you enter the garage? Like yeah. mom, what are you doing? <laughs> Oh yeah, that dumbbell totally looks like a like a katana. I'm with you. Oh. Uh, ZTI in the chat suggests playing Year Walk on your iPad with the companion app open on your iPhone. Okay. That's ideal. Yeah, so there is a companion app that that is apparently I've heard related it's to it. Um, yeah. yeah, like I, I guess like all I was told is that because we you know Year Walk is on our list of potential contenders for Game of the Year, so I reached out and got codes yeah. to give out to the staff. Nice. And um, they gave me codes for the companion app too, and were basically they said like, we can't tell you why this is important because it ruins the experience, but it is important to have it. So here. Sometimes I don't imagine things too. Mom is being condescending again. Blazing Raven says, "How much longer in the, is is this game?" I mean, I, question uh, shrug. Who knows? It's still telling me prologue. I mean, someone in the chat knows. I'm sure. Tolo says like eight hours. Jesus. Thomas says like twelve hours. Perfect. I mean, like, here's the thing. Uh, for as many scenes of, as we've been through already, I don't feel like anything's happened. Yeah. Like nope. I don't. I don't feel like I have a sense of like what the story is supposed point, to be or what we're doing. Yeah, yeah. And this is one of those things where I feel like it, the nonlinearity doesn't necessarily work, you know? Um, I really, like, I'm really starting to feel like this game might have been better off. I've heard that there is linear. a cut of all of the, someone, someone has played the game and then cut through it um, or cut it up and placed it on YouTube linearly, and I'm really curious about that. Like, I almost feel like we'd be getting a better sense of, like, just character Who development. Who this person and, like, is, yeah. Like, yeah learning to care about these people and uh, maybe yeah. I'm wrong I don't know and you know we're in we're like two hours in and if it's if there's only 12 hours maybe six hours from now we'll say like all right well that worked but right now it does not feel like it is you know Jody where are you going Ugh, the yard's the other um... way honey Amy Augusta says dude we kissed a guy shit is happening that's true true we, we kissed true. a guy and, and then, then we he stabbed was, him. Then he was a dick and we stabbed him, yeah. Um, so, you know, like like real life. People are in the chat are also mentioning that that um, that there is at some point in this game, one of the playthroughs, which is again a thing I've read, there is a sexual assault scene. Um, so we should we should if you're watching that, it's probably not this scene, but, but theoretically at some point that could happen. Probably fair fair to have a warning about that. Mm -hmm. Um, which again isn't a thing that should be off the table in terms of game narrative. Like, it's just I don't... a matter of how you handle it. Yes, exactly. Um, which... I think that there is. I, we'll see. I guess. I don't know. Um, I was a little worried with the, that scene with the boy that that was yeah, going to go in that too. direction, but uh, clearly, Same. I guess it almost did. Still, kind of, almost did. But a scene like that is what I mean when I say that the fact that it quote changes nothing doesn't. It, one, it's inaccurate, and two, it doesn't matter. That like you could have left that scene without trying to kill all those people, um, and that to me but they deserve to die. Right, yep. Of course, I'm not saying you shouldn't have done that. I'm saying you're, you were in the right to do that, and of course you did it. But a different player who doesn't have their wits about them and makes a dumb choice like not trying to stab them all, they could have gone through a different way, and their Jody and their their Aiden would have been characterized differently. And that that's a choice, and that's a meaning creation. You know, it's meaning making. Yeah, get that slide. It. Processing power. Next gen. I mean, last gen. Oh, 